Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use keyframing and how to do some keyframing techniques with this right here. Let me go and show you guys this. Now, before I show you guys, this is some footage that I filmed uh, during prom. Prom was amazing. It was super fun. But if you guys want to see the full video, please check out my school's YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description. I'm going to push play so you guys can see what it is. So, you guys are probably wondering how I did that. It's really, really easy and simple to do. But first, let me go and tell you guys what keyframing is. Keyframing is the ability to change parameter values for added effects smoothly within a video clip. So you can do this with any type of clip. Now, this doesn't have to be a video clip. It could be an audio clip, a picture, whatever it is. You can set different values with different uh, markers, such as this one right here. Set a marker every time she says a word. So right here, she said you and then bring me and then comfort to my soul. Now you can do this with any kind of song, of course. So let me go and show you guys how to do this right now. You're gonna be pressing M every time you hear her or him say a word, so push M. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Make sure that the video clip is selected as well. Just like that. So let me go ahead and uh, undo all of that, what I just did. So you're just gonna do that, and then what I did was every time she said a word, especially right here, um, I added a keyframe, which is a marker in this case for Final Cut Pro, and I just pressed M every time she said a word. So once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and add our text. So go to the T here, uh, which will bring the titles, and I'm going to be selecting the basic title. You can select whatever you would like, and then I'm going to go ahead and just drag this because it's super long. We don't need all of this, and we're going to go ahead and just drag that here. So I'm going to go ahead and push play. So actually, she says bring or you right here. So I'm going to delete this marker. By the way, if you want to delete a marker, just right click on the blue marker there. Press delete. You could also cut, copy, modify. You could do standard to do in chapter. If you guys wish to change that, you can, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to add the marker there. So press M on your keyboard and, just, and then just drag the text uh, whenever the marker starts. So right here. <laughs> And then once you have done that, drag the end of the text or the title to the next keyframe, which is the marker here. From there, you're just going to go ahead and change the text. So what I'm going to do first is go to the inspector and change this. So I'm going to type in U. And then for the font, I'm going to change it to Courture, which is a font I'll leave in the description so you guys can download that as well. So let me go ahead and find it right now. Here it is, Courture. So once you have done that, this is what it looks like. And then right as she ends, you that's when we add the next one so all you gotta do instead of doing this for each single one and you know dragging the text over here which can be a pain just press command c with your text selected and press command v on the marker here make sure that this is is set on the marker the second marker and then press command v and then do the same thing for this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just uh, do this for each single marker and I'm going to be back once I am finished. All right, guys. So once you have finished adding the text or copying and pasting the text and making them fit within each marker, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the text or what it says. So this one, the second text here says you bring. And then the next one says me here. So I'm going to change that to me. Same thing with this one. We're going to change that to comfort. And then to, let me make sure this is right. Yes, and then this one will say my and then we need one last text here because this is the last uh, Marker so we need another one. So press command V And then it's not gonna say you it's gonna say soul of course So now we have this so I'm going to push play and, and show you guys how it looks like So you can see comfort starts a little bit kind of late so let's go ahead and show you that one more time Right there, that's when she says comfort. So I'm gonna move this, the third text, and drag that back just a little bit to whenever she says comfort. And I'm gonna drag the fourth marker, which is comfort, and drag that back. So now if we push play, so you can see it looks way better. Now the last thing to do is to add a transition. To add the transition, all you have to do is go to the transitions tab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in the 
you know, in the last one here. If the uh, transition is too long, just drag this inwards and that will make the transition a little shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each one. And then go ahead and render this one more time. So again, this is what we have as our finished result. Now you could do this with any song of course, but the same principle applies with keyframing. Now you can tell that the beginning of the video clip has a fade in, and you can see that there's no transition, and we did that with keyframing. Uh, let me go and show you guys how to do that really quickly. Right click on the video, and then go to show video animation. Go to compositing and the opacity, and you're going to see that there's two keyframes right here. The first one goes from 0% to 100%. Let me go and show you guys how to do that. Go to the inspector and select your video clip first of all. Then go to the inspector and go down and go to compositing. Let me go ahead and reset this. So you're going to have it like this, okay? From here, what you want to go ahead and do is add a keyframe. So opacity is 0%. Now I click the little plus icon, which will add a keyframe right here, as you can see. From there, we're going to go ahead and go like, I don't know, a second long. And then we're going to go to 100%. So now we have this right here. And that is our second keyframe. So we went from 0% to 100% with two keyframes, which is really cool. So now if we render this, you can see how it looks like and you can do this with uh, fade out as well except the opposite so push play you can see how the keyframe works on the right side which is really really cool if you want to have your own custom times or your custom start in and start outs so if you found this video helpful in any way please leave a reading below in the reading section that would be awesome comment down what you guys want to see next for my next video and i'll catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy yeah. your day okay you need to get gun done 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 at work come over